it's finally here, my movie maniacs. Yes, the highly anticipated third film in the Apes trilogy, the prequels to the Planet of the Apes series, and this one is called Apes with Guns on Horses, or <laughs> also known as War for the Planet of the Apes. Uh, brought to us by director Matt Reeves, who gave us Cloverfield, Let Me In, as well as Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Well, he's back in the director's chair telling us the story of Caesar. We're picking up after the events of uh, the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, where we see Caesar, still the leader of the sentient apes, living in the woods, just trying to survive and live and let live. But there's a human colonel out there, played by Woody Harrelson, who is hell-bent on eliminating the apes or enslaving them. And we see how these two forces clash and who will survive and who will become the ruler of the Planet of the Apes. Well, you'll have to see the film to find out. Ah, uh, wow, this was a really powerful film and a great cap to this trilogy. Uh, what they did with the Caesar character was great. They have him actually break. He goes against his own rules and we see him go on his own mission of revenge similar to the Colonel and the parallels between these two characters, characters was very interesting. I loved how they played that in the script and Andy Serkis it is phenomenal what he was able to bring to a character that is completely motion capture. In fact, all these uh, uh, actors in here that were in the mocap, uh, Karen uh, Knovel, who was who's played Maurice, uh, she's uh, back in the mocap. The emotion through the eyes and the performances alone, you completely forget these are CGI apes. They've done it even better than Dawn and refined it to the where you, you just accept these are live apes that are acting in this film and I loved that I love that they made you forget about the special effects and how even though they're an integral part in this film they are not the focus the focus is the story namely about Caesar this leader who is broken by this human colonel and set against impossible odds and I know there's many people out there going oh guns against spears and really hard to buy and I get that I get that okay so you, you look a little bit past that but for me the emotion in this film that was brought out by these characters who are completely CG was impressive and amazing. You care about these characters. Uh, we get a, a young actress in here, Amaya Miller, who is uh, plays the young Nova, who if you're familiar with the Planet of the Apes movies, the original series, uh, you'll know her character, and I loved her performance in here as well. It had to be hard for a young actress to act with people uh, trying to imagine that they're apes, but she does a very convincing job in here and I enjoyed the story that they came up with in here on why the colonel wanted uh, these apes dead and, and he'd kind of uh tell you a little bit more about the virus that was released that wipes out people. Uh, yeah, there's so much depth and weight into this film. It, it gets dark in places. Though you do still have a, a humorous character in the form of Bad Ape, who's voiced by and played by Steve Zahn, and he was a very welcome new addition to this group. It, it's a war picture, though, folks. This is a straight-up war picture that has as much gravitas to it as, say, your, your Vietnam War picture pictures in many senses of the you know, you know and don't don't let it the fact that it's apes turn away from the fact this is a straight up war picture now Woody Harrelson playing the colonel I enjoyed his character though some of the dialogue they gave him was different uh, there's a particular scene in here between him and Caesar that felt a bit awkward I know what they were trying to go for but it just felt a little bit odd. I'm not sure why, if it was the way it was written or directed, not sure, but that scene uh, didn't take me out of the film, but it just felt a little awkward, and I think maybe it's what they were trying to go for, but uh, for me, I wish they would have handled it a little bit differently, but man, this film, special effects look fantastic, direction overall was great, fantastic story, and such a strong ending. Uh, I actually heard people uh, sniffling and crying in the theater, which uh, I didn't expect for a film like this. Folks, if you enjoyed the first two especially, go see War of the Planet of the Apes. Even if you don't agree with them trying to do a prequel to the original Planet of the Apes series, this trilogy by itself is a really solid film, and if you want to separate yourself from the other ones, I think you should, because you'd be doing yourself a disservice of not seeing what is able to be accomplished with a special effects laden film that can still have the emotional weight of a drama and even create uh, some very high impact moments. So 
War of the Planet of the Apes. High marks all around. Go see it. It's got to be seen on the big screen. You'll enjoy it and love to hear your thoughts on it. Please leave your comments down below. Love to hear uh, what you thought of this. Constructive, please. And as always, thank you for your support. And remember, keep that ticket stub.